Hi, welcome to The Financial Fox. Today on the show we have Stephen Kendall, the now famous ambassador of Steam. How are you, Stephen? I'm very well, thank you, Steph, and thanks for inviting me down for the second interview. I really appreciate it. So, yes, we did an interview last year and you were telling me about what Steam does and Steam it as well. Uh, now, I would like to, um, to ask you how things are going. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, um, w when we sat down, um, it was just at the beginning of January, and when we sat down, um, the Steam blockchain had around about 600,000 um, users or 600,000 accounts. Since then, it's doubled now, and we've got just under 1.1 million uh, accounts. And um, since then, obviously, we've got a tremendous amount of people now, great quality talent, who are coming to the Steam community and blogging. And uh, it's just been phenomenal. I mean, the last six months have been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, there is even a queue to, uh, to register with Steam. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, when, when, when I first joined Steamit um, and I put my application in, I think that it got processed within about 24 hours. Mm. Now there's a waiting list. Well, I got three weeks. It, there's a waiting list. <laughs> and, 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 and people, you know, don't realise why there's a waiting list? Well, there's a waiting list because, in theory, Steph, these accounts are like micro businesses, and and people have to really understand it's not just a blogging site. It's not just an account where you know you can talk to your friends and put photo photographs up. These are effectively a micro business. And what are the main topics that that people talk about? Well, obviously, the main one and always has been is photography, photography, life, you know. Items that or, or things that people have a general interest in, yeah? Um, and of course, just recently, and I know I'd like to talk about it afterwards, but just recently I've been reaching out, bringing new talent to the community. So it's mainly creative talent. That's where the, that's where the market is, creative talent. And uh, wh where are you finding the talent, Stephen? Well, I, I actually, about 12 months, ago, uh, 12 months ago, I started a, um, um, a promo UK, which was effectively going out onto the street, talking to people at uh, universities, promoting the, 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 the Steam it and platform and the Steam blockchain. And then round about July, we moved it into promo Steam, which is effectively a global promotional hashtag which means that anybody in the Steam It community can go out, have these interviews, go on radio shows, put out flyers, put, wear t-shirts, and that effectively became Promo Steam. And Promo Steam, hashtag Promo Steam, is effectively one of the fastest growing bespoke hashtags on the Steam It community because it purely focuses on promoting the Steam It uh, platform and the Steam, blogging, uh, uh, and the Steam um, blockchain. Now, I realised around about six weeks ago that there was a tremendous amount of talent, creative talent, untapped creative talent out there. So four weeks ago, I started a brand new hash, a brand new hashtag called hashtag Steam Talent. Now, hashtag Steam Talent is effectively a hashtag where I can reach out into social media, find a particular um, person with a particular creative talent and bring them, invite them to the community. So about four weeks ago, I decided to change all my social media profile on LinkedIn, on Twitter. And if you go onto my Twitter account now and you realize that it says hashtag Steam Talent, it's effectively like a talent scout. It's a talent scout looking for creative talent. And that Steph has been phenomenal. What a ride that's been, and, and it's effectively been four weeks now. So let's say um, I'm a blogger. I'm blogging about photography, food, whatever, or for, you know, cryptocurrency. H how much money I can make? How that works? So you know, people new to Steamy today understand. Right. When when you understand the blockchain, you you you, you have to understand that every day there is a certain amount of steam that's created by the blockchain. Now that steam, and let's say for argument's sake is 70,000 steam every day gets created. Now over a period of time, let's say over 10 years, that will reduce. So it's effectively reducing all the time. 
So let's say today there was 70,000 Steam that is created by the blockchain. That has to be distributed. It goes into a reward pool and it gets distributed. And it gets distributed to the content that the Steam community feels is actually worth, you know, by purely voting up. Now, when people join, the first question they say to me is, well, you know, I put up a blog and I've only earned $1. Now, if Steam at that time was worth $1, in theory, you've earned one Steam. Well, of course, people think automatically that they're going to join Steam and they're going to become a millionaire on day one. Well, that actually is not going to happen. What I strongly suggest to people is build up your following. It took me between four and six months to get off the ground, really. And, and once you build up your following, and at the moment now I've earned over 38,000 Steam, in about two weeks' time, I will have been on Steam it for two years, and I've got 10,500 followers. And, and that is equal to, in terms of fiat? Well, in terms of fiat, it's about $60,000. Wow. You know? And, and, and really, at this point, at the moment, Steam is worth around about, what, $1.50? Um, in, in January, it got up to $8.00. Um, I predicted it was going to hit $17, and I'm still confident that it's going to hit $17 in the very near future. So, of course, you know, uh, a lot of people will look at my wallet and think, well, how has that happened? Hard work. Two years of hard work. Two years of realising that this is the future. You know, this, this, this blockchain is effectively the biggest blockchain in the world. And, and a lot of people don't realise, when, when I say the biggest blockchain, it's the biggest blockchain. It has the most, the most content. So each block that contains all the blocks, it has the biggest, it, purely by, by size, it has the biggest amount of data. So now we understand what Steam it does. What are the plans going forward, you know, to, to, to grow the, the, the company and the Steam? Right, well... If you take the two elements, the two important elements is you've got the Steam blockchain, which is a, an open source cryptocurrency. It's a blockchain, which is effectively a social media blockchain. Yeah. On top of that, there is then various applications. And at the moment, there might be 200 applications. And these applications are all various different apps that stitch back to the Steam blockchain. Steamit is the flagship application for the Steam blockchain. However, in the future, there will be, we've already got an application called DTube, DLive, and these are effectively like YouTube. So today, you have an account on YouTube, you do a video, you put your video up on YouTube, and of course, you're monetizing it depending on the amount of hits you get. DTube and DLive is exactly the same as YouTube, but you get paid for your content. So your content is effectively uploaded onto the blockchain, it then gets mirrored onto the Steamit blogging site, and of course people then can start voting it up. So the future is going to be that the Steam blockchain is the nucleus for the global social media. So in theory, in the future, when you go onto social media and you like something, you dislike something, you make a little comment against something, you'll earn micropayments, and those micropayments will effectively be stitched back and approved, valid, uh, verified and validated on the Steam blockchain. So where do you see the price of uh, Steam going? Where are you going to cash out your, uh, I might <laughs> your consider, Steam? I might consider cashing out it when it gets to $1,000. And, and at the moment, you know, we're, we're trading at about $1.50. And, and a lot of people think, well, that's crazy. You know, that is absolutely crazy. Well. As far as I'm concerned, if you compare Bitcoin, and we all know Bitcoin is worth, at the moment, is worth $6,700. It wasn't long ago when Bitcoin was only worth 10 cents. Well, Steam was worth 10 cents. Yeah. And, and at the moment, at $1.50, um, I, I, I'm very confident, very, very confident that Steam will be in the triple digits very soon. And, it, and it, it, it's not, it's not, because, you know, I, I'm, this, is, this is what I'm trying to, you know, trying to get across. There's nothing out there. There is nothing out there that even comes anywhere near to what Steam and Steam it does. 
So um, I'm very confident, very, very confident it'll be in triple digits. And uh, when it gets into the hundreds of dollars, I might decide to take a little bit off. I might. <laughs> let's, let's talk a little bit more about the, the biggest cryptocurrency like Bitcoin yeah. and Ethereum. I mean, uh, there have been a lot of rumors about, you know, Bitcoin price uh, going through the roof very soon. Some other people are more bearish. What are your views um, on Bitcoin? Extremely bullish. In 2015, I run a software package which tracks um, moving averages. And in December of 2015, simultaneously, silver, Bit, sorry, silver, gold and Bitcoin within the space of seven days created what is called a buy alert on my system. And at that time, Bitcoin triggered at $451. Now, prior to 2015, to, uh, December of 2015, when Bitcoin was around about the $200, I was telling people, get into Bitcoin. You've got to look at this. This is serious. This is, this is going to be the new financial system. Well, of course, at $451, it proved it. And from then, it's been bullish. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it will always pull back. The trend is going up, yeah? Um, this time last year, it was less than 20,000. Yeah. We all know it shot up to 20 or 1,000. Well, of course, at the moment, it's at 6,700. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's still going up. You know, this natural pullback is natural. Now, at 6,700, there seems to be a little bit of a bullish rebuy again. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if you're in for the investment side, and when I say the investment side, I'm talking the long-term investment, does it matter what Bitcoin is, whether it's at 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, or 50,000? You know, I've put out a target price that Bitcoin will hit a minimum of a million dollars by 2023. Wow. And I'm gonna stand by that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand by that million dollars. Do you have any other small coins, small cryptocurrency that you think investors should have a look? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've got to be very careful, yeah, by, you know, promoting or, or by, by suggesting. But I would, I would suggest Digibyte. Its ticker is DGB, Digibyte. And the reason why I like Digibyte so much is purely from the technical side of it. The speed, the lightning transaction speed of Digibyte is phenomenal is absolutely phenomenal. And what I think is going to happen with Digibyte, it'll be used as a global transaction. And, and, and I think what's going to really happen in the future, because these other cryptocurrencies now have a faster transaction speed than Bitcoin, Bitcoin will become the reserve currency. Bitcoin will become the mm -hmm. store of wealth. Mm -hmm. People won't be transacting in Bitcoin because it's too slow. What you're going to get is you're going to get something like Digibyte, and I think Digibyte will be in the top. 10 very soon. At the moment, it's trading at just under four cents, but I think Digibyte is the one that people want to look at, and it's purely because of its transaction speed. It's the fastest. Yes. Okay, on these uh, last tips, I'm going to thank you very much for being our guest today, and uh, I hope to see you very soon for another interview and more update on Steam and Steam It. Thanks, Steph. I really appreciate it, yeah. Thank you. This is everything from the Financial Fox. See you next time.